It is time for some celebrity dish. All right, so we got the Gwen Factor in the house this morning. Good morning hey. to you. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. All right, so you, you also, you, you got what we're doing right now, <laughs> but you have something else going on this weekend as well. Oh, yeah, we banging and booing. Banging and yes. booing yes. with our man Joe Claire. Yes. All right, so this is going to be uh, uh, comedy at its finest. Oh, absolutely. Tell us a little bit about it. For those uh, who all familiar. female lined up. Nice. A celebration of women's uh, history month. Okay. Uh, we got the infamous Melanie Camacho from BET, uh -huh. uh, Def Comedy Jam, doing her thing. Ray Diva out of Baltimore and yeah. myself, of course, representing the DMV. I uh -huh. love that. I'm curious. Do you ever like when you're when you're I don't know preparing your jokes or something? Are you ever like, oh, that's a good one, but there's too much of a risk that it uh, might go viral for the wrong reasons? Or are you just like, you know what, let's just go? I, first of all, all my jokes is about my life. <laughs> so so you're going to it is. You're the only one who can be offended. Manage exactly, yeah, right. exactly. So I like that. I can only tell it the way I see it, okay. as okay. I tell people. So whether you find it offensive or not, it's my life. Okay. Right. It is. I like that. All right. Okay. Uh, let's get into this. Speaking of uh, somebody's life, as part <laughs> of her journey to get back to herself, Black China is also going back to her real name. She introduced herself as Angela to her 16.7 million Instagram followers. She captioned wow. the post, quote, I am ready to get back to Angela. Black China uh, is saying she's feel like she feels like she's outgrown that name and it's time for a change. China also revealed she was uh, baptized last year, adding, quote, I was reborn on my birthday, 5-11-22. God is good. She recently made headlines for dissolving her facial filler. So we'll call her Angela from now on. Okay. Um, what do you think? I don't know if you've been following, but she's gone through this process of dissolving a lot of her fillers and kind of going back to her more natural state. What do you think of it? I think it's amazing. I, I mean, she's been through a lot uh, with the baby and everything, but a lot of people do these things, become famous, mm -hmm. I think, and at the end of the day, they have to find themselves again. Yeah. I'm glad to see her getting back to her normal self because yeah. right. you don't have to do all that just to be fake. And, right. and she looked great to begin with. So. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. So my question is this, though. When you, when, you, when you are famous and you try to change your name, don't people still go back to your, your famous name, for example? Remember when Puff Daddy yeah. or Puffy exactly. tried to change his name to something love? And then, Brother and then love, that, I think. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. Brother love. Yeah, yeah. brother and, love. And he's still Puff Daddy or Puffy. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so that didn't work. Remember when Snoop Dogg tried to change his name to Snoop Lion or something like that? Uh-huh. Yeah, see, we don't even remember it. Right. Because he's still Snoop. He's always going to be Snoop. They have a better marketing strategy. Had. Yeah. Prince right. had like four names yeah. and then yeah. no name at all. Right. He had no name. He had a symbol. And then, but when you see him, it's like, oh, that's Prince. He yeah. just got exactly. a symbol now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if that ever works. You're always going to be. Uh, and the bigger you are with that yeah. name, the Correct. harder it is for people to forget. So, I mean, as far as we've known her, for as long as we've known her, it's Black China. So when you say Angela, folks are like, wait, Angela who? Yeah. Black exactly. China. Yeah. 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 It's just like now saying we got to call the new football team the Commanders. Right, but right. it's forever going to be the Redskins right. to a bunch of until us it, here. Until they win the Super Bowl. Exactly. <laughs> then we'll or, take that. Or get, a, or get a new owner, whichever comes. <laughs> whichever yeah. comes whichever first. Comes we praying first. for both. <laughs> <laughs> we keep praying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We still have uh, a bit more celebrity dish coming in. So let's check in with our producer Chris in the control room with what he's got. Hey, What's Jeanette, up, Chris? So I'm here to talk about another person whose other name lasted forever, Sasha Fierce. Uh, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. All right. No, I'm actually talking about Beyonce, <laughs> but only kind of tangentially, because I'm talking about this show, the one that everyone else is talking about as well. It is called Swarm. The Donald Glover Amazon Prime series has some of today's hottest young stars on it, Billie Eilish, Damson Idris, Chloe Bailey, but it's their co-star Dominique Fishback who is shedding some light on the inspiration behind the show and debunking a big theory among fans in the process. So if you haven't seen it, the show follows Fishback's character, Angela, who develops a huge obsession with a musician to the point she's willing to murder to express her love. And since the show's premiere, fans have speculated that the show reminds them of Beyonce's Beehive and their fierce dedication to the queen herself. But Fishback in an interview with Tamron Hall says it's not about Beyonce or her loyal hive at all. The show instead seems to be about society's mm. obsession with celebrity and the lengths people will go to to feel connected to that world and all the toxicity that comes with it. Swarm is out on Amazon Prime if you do want to check it out, but all of that to say it's kind of, don't come for me, but <laughs> kind of still similar to Beyonce in a way. Yeah, what I mean, it doesn't think? help that it's it, the name is Swarm, right? And, Correct. And the Beehive. Very on the nose, I think. <laughs> yeah, what do you, what do you think? 
Uh, first of all, I'm not familiar with the show, but I figure mm -hmm. if uh, Donald Glover's involved with it, it's going to be an amazing show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I do want to check it out at some point, but um, I don't think it's about Beyonce at all. I think it's just more about... Uh, the swarming of fans, mm -hmm. and uh, to me, it just looked like a, a new replayed black version of Selena. Oh yeah, kind of right. along that line. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because uh, these crazed fans. Right. And right. I'm just saying, I don't want them kind of fans. Right. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You just want them to laugh and go home. Right. Exactly. Don't, don't follow. Them. I don't want to go home with you. Exactly. Don't follow me home. Yeah. Um, gotcha. I, I think. I think it speaks to the larger issue. I mean, obviously, Beehive fans are loyal, as are, like, the Navy and, and other uh, fan bases. But it still points to a larger, I think, societal issue of people being obsessed with celebrities. I would say even more so now, because with social media, you feel like you know them, yes. right? That's true. Right. So, I, and they I mean, want in pieces of your life. It's I, like you got to really put a lot of your personal right. life out there. Mm -hmm. They feel like they're entitled to it. Well, they... they your, they're your friend. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they, right. Like I thought we were cool. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because you liked my post. You liked right. my comment. Right. I thought oh, we were friends yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, finally, Netflix just unveiled a trailer for Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. And its uh, series premiere is May 4th. The spinoff was previously celebrated during a Valentine's Day timed uh, live streamed event in which fans were treated to the first teaser and new images for the Queen Charlotte. Tell me about the king. Is he ugly, perhaps deformed? He is the king. Yes. And? For those uh, of you who are less familiar with the storyline, Queen Charlotte focuses on the rise to prominence and power in this prequel, along with a love story of the queen's marriage to King George and a societal shift that influenced the world of the um, characters in Bridgerton and the diversity that you see in that uh, series. So, uh, did you watch Bridgerton itself? I did. Okay. You did? did you watch? Ooh, ooh. All you like Reggae Jump Page? Oh yes. I was gonna Nothing ease like into that. that. Eye candy. <laughs> I was upset when they took when See, he left. He was cool with you up until now. Up until that point. Because he's not he's not a big Reggae Jean Page fan. I, I am though. I got you. I wasn't you. either, but I was I like, you. he's not hard to look at on the eye. Right. Right. And I tapped out though once he left. I kind of did, yeah. too. So if they got some new eye candy on here, then I'm back in it to win it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, I'm in it. It's really simple to get us back in. I right? see. Just give us eye candy at the reggae Jean Page level. Okay. All right. So. Y'all yeah, seen him in anything else, though? No. I, saw, I, mean, I actually saw him in The Gray Man. He was in this movie, uh, The Gray Man. It was an action adventure movie. This yeah. is how much we like him. We're like, I'm sorry, Greg. Uh, uh, I just yeah. keep replaying that <laughs> oh, same Bridgerton okay. episode right. over and over and over. I, 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 <laughs> okay. I got you. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today, by the Thank way. Thank you for having me. All right. Banging yeah. and Bowie. Banging and, Banging and Bowie. Bowie, two big shows, 7, 10. Come check us out on one or both. Yeah. Right. It's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah. And don't, fo don't follow her home. <laughs> Don't don't come and bring no Unless trouble. Unless you want, what if you're trying to escort her home well, to make sure she gets home know, safely? Oh, you good? I'm driving on through the back roads. I'm not even going home. I'm going to go to a secret location. Gotcha, first. gotcha. All right, thank you for joining us. All thank right. you again.